<laughs> he came out here dressed like Bray Wyatt. Let me talk to you. The biggest moment in Raw history happened at Raw 30. Went into the ring, walked out a night. I heard you all chatting. Talk to us. Talk to us. And being the benevolent man that I am, I give you what you want. Even though you don't deserve it. And then like to turn the punch ball, here comes The Undertaker to assist Bray Wyatt. Why is that? Pipe down, I'm talking. <laughs> Why is that? Because neither of them wanted this guy one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Yeah. I said pipe down, I'm talking. <laughs> Bray Wyatt, you've got 24 hours until a pitch black match at Royal Rumble. I want you to bring every bit of advice that The Undertaker whispered into your ear. I want you to come down as whatever version of yourself that gives you a little tingle in your loins. Because this right here, this is your future. Torn up, laid out. Because when the Alamo Dome goes pitch black, your dumpy ass ain't coming back. And that's not an insult, that is just a fact of life. Yeah! <laughs> a dumpy ass. I see you out here making jokes, man, but I think we both know that you ain't smiling on the inside, are you? <laughs> but here's the thing, man. It doesn't even matter anymore. The time for talking it, it's come and gone. Tomorrow night at the Royal Rumble, you will finally get to meet the man that you've been looking for. <laughs> so take your time tonight, man. Have a great night, sweetheart. Laugh it up, joke all you want. Because tomorrow night, when the lights go out, You'll see. <laughs> there he is. Uncle Hal. Oh my god, LA Knight's a trip.